Hey there, welcome, welcome to a new week vlog. Tuesday, lunchtime. I have been postponing starting this vlog from since yesterday morning. So here um, we just start. I haven't done the hair yet. Did bring the kids to school with this hair. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody minds. Nobody cares. Um, but yeah, let's kick off this week vlog. So happy you're here joining me in the studio uh, for a few days. Uh, working days are today, Tuesday, uh, tomorrow and Friday. So a few days to vlog what's happening this week. And let's see what will be happening. I think uh, a lot of working on the book, um, some order packing, uh, hopefully binding one or two quilts would love to do that but mainly working on the book um, yeah so I'm sure there will be a lot of fun quilty things to share you this week lunch done let's fix this hair situation and do a little round of um, organizing over here. There we go, much better. So I wanted to share two things that I did to yesterday. Um, I stopped social media for 21 week days. So uh, I announced yesterday that I am not going to use Instagram and Facebook for three weeks. And uh, to me that sounds like a pretty big deal because I spend so much time on Instagram scrolling mindlessly scrolling um yeah so i want to uh cut that pattern break that pattern and uh see how it feels like if i'm not on there so that's what i did yesterday i deleted the apps and announced that i was going to take a break um and it already feels really good so instead of mindlessly scrolling i that's the second thing i did yesterday i added some plenty friends to the studio so this one is actually a climbing plant uh, but now it's hanging because it can't really climb so um, I think I'm going to guide it along the ceiling something like that not sure yet but um, happy to have added this to the studio in our house I have quite a few plants and also make the English word propagations of a plant so that you make the baby plants I have quite quite a lot of that and also from this plant so I'm going to put those new baby plants also in the pot and make it a bigger one um, yeah so I'm slowly moving some of the plants from our house into the studio also have a few plants over there let me show you so over here I have this one and th this was doing pretty well but it was very root bound so I gave it a bigger pot and it also is flowering so I'm really curious if the repotting has some influence on the flowering because this could turn into new baby plants so that's this one and then this one this was growing in a plant cabinet with a growing light um, but this one also likes to climb so I gave it a pull and moved it to the studio so curious to see how this one's going to grow if it's liking the pull or not no clue and then a sad case I had a really nice banana plant uh, but then I forgot to water it and again forgot to water it and water it and it's standing here in the full sun so he, he likes the full sun but doesn't like the less watering so I um, took it out of his pot and noticed that the roots were pretty small so I put it in a smaller pot and then cut off the top so this looks a little bit dramatic but this was really stuck with some new leaves that couldn't grow out because there were old leaves, small old leaves around it. So we'll see, we'll see. I'll give you an update in a few weeks. 
So for the rest of the afternoon, I'll do uh, two of the orders that really need to go out today and then do the rest of the orders with Sana tomorrow afternoon. Mm, yeah, let's start with that and see how much time I have left to work on my book after that. Orders are packed, did some computer stuff that came up and now I got something in the mail. It is not if you redo it. But since I was talking about plans, I thought I can show you anyway. How cool is that? These are stackable pots for plants and I'm going to make one or maybe two strawberry towers for in our garden. So here I have another set. So there is a lot of room for strawberries or maybe some other plants, but um, yeah. So I thought since I am not spending so much time scrolling on Instagram and social media, I thought let's spend that time uh, on some gardening, my uh, vegetable garden and um, strawberries, some plants. So happy stuff instead of mindlessly scrolling. Okay, so... Um, it's almost time to go to the physiotherapist. Um, so that's my day for today. We'll see you back tomorrow. Good morning. I found another plenty friend in the studio. Well, found it. I knew it was there, um, but I kind of forgot it. Forgot about it every time I watered my plants. So it's not too happy. Cut a lot of leaves. That weren't doing well. I'm very tempted to repot it right now because I think it needs some new soil, but that would be procrastination because I really need to work on my book. I kind of set a deadline to try to uh, hand in all the text for my book this week. Uh, and I planned that before everybody got sick uh, two weeks. Um, my previous video I also said that uh, I just had been sick but now also the kids and my husband so we all got the flu again um, so yeah I was running a little bit behind on my schedule to hand in everything um, before the end of March so I'm still trying uh, I would really love to uh, send out a text because then um, we can really start on these, um, putting together the book. I would love that. So I should not repot this right now. <laughs> we'll just save that for an evening and um, start writing some things for my book. Something I did yesterday evening that I can show you is um, this one. I uh, squared it off and now I am trying to figure out what kind of binding I'm going to do. So here is a stripey binding. Would be nice. It does match almost with the with with the blueish colors. So it's not a complete match. This one is a saver choice. This dark blue isn't really in the quilt, but I think it does match the overall feel. And then here I have a white, uh, black and white stripe and that does fit. There is black in here uh, in this fabric, 
this fabric as well uh, and with bright colors and black and white you're always good but the um, blue and white fabric does give it a little bit of a softer feel so we'll leave this here so I can think about it today while I will now start working on my book That was a lovely morning of typing. I did a lot of work on my book, so that's great. I'm excited to see how much I can get done this afternoon and Friday. We'll see, we'll see. This afternoon, Sam is joining me in the studio to um, ship some orders and uh, she does kind of the studio shop management for me, so she keeps it organized here and that is a great help for me to um, to stay organized in the studio. So um, yeah, time for lunch and then we'll see what I get done this afternoon. Good morning, Friday morning. Um, I had these laying here for my Let's Play quilt, but I also got a new box in the mail. And I think... This has even more stripy fabrics. Let's open this up. Yes, there is more stripy fabric in here. Oh, I'm really happy that I haven't sewn or picked a binding yet for the Let's Play quilt. Oh, yes, yes. I need a battery change for my camera. Yes, there we are. Um, new thread, also really nice. But here is happy colored stripy fabric. What do we have here? Here's a tiny stripe in turquoise. Um, I already had this one. But I'm using it as a binding for a project for my book. So I figured if we're making kits for that, then this would be a lovely binding to, um, to have available for that. So ordered an extra roll of this, a yellowish stripey binding. And I love the color, love it. That's perfect. And maybe I'm going to use this one because it's such a happy, bright, Perfect for the Let's Play Club. A um, kind of orangey stripey fabric. It's not completely bright orange, but it's also not red. I think it's really pretty. So it's not the bright in your face, but it's also softer than red. I think that's a lovely one. This is a really happy green one. And these are tinier stripes. So this stripe is a quarter inch and this stripe is an eighth of an inch. So it's a little bit smaller. Um, I'm just going to show you the whole collection of stripey fabrics that I have because I want to make a new sec section in the shop where I have um, all kinds of binding fabrics. I love stripy bindings and um, I figured let's just get a whole uh, collection of stripy fabrics to make a section in the shop that is fabric specifically for binding. Here we go. And um, I think it will be fun to, I can leave this closed. I think it would be fun to do a nice uh, discount on stripy fabrics when this video goes out. Let me think about that. Here we have the red one. Yay! 
yeah so probably this video will go up on a friday so let's just do a discount this whole weekend and we'll make it 15 percent of all the stripy fabrics i think that's nice and we also have the green one this one let's see do we have more stripy fabrics I'll just rearrange them a little bit and then give you a tour around the stripy fabrics so here at the bottom we have two stripes where it's not white striped but with a color and it's a tiny stripe so this one is really cool when you don't have too much white in your quilt and want to have a pretty striped binding that doesn't really pop but just gives that a little bit of an extra um, in, in, compared to a um, solid then here are two these are the same so black and white stripes and then the dark blue one and this is red and white and these are all a uh, quarter of an inch uh, wide and then this one, it's a kind of a cor uh, coral um, and so it's not really pink, not really red and it's a little bit smaller than the quarter inch stripe. Then we have four eighth of an inch stripes. Don't have to move, <laughs> shouldn't move too much because then you get dizzy from all the stripes. Yellow one, green, orange and light blue and then this one is a cool one it's a diagonal stripe so this is a little bit more teal turquoise than this one this is more light blue this is a little bit more teal-ish there we have a new collection in the Shubidoo web shop uh, stripey fabrics this weekend 15% of all the stripey fabrics and that's going to be the most exciting part, I guess, of this morning. Um, because now I am going to get back to working on my book. And um, I decided that I'm going to write on my book the whole morning. And then give uh, the graphic designer a call. Um, to just discuss with him um, his schedule, his planning and um, to discuss what I already have finished, if he can work with that already, or if we should just wait a little bit longer until everything is finished. So um, yeah, more on that this afternoon. And also this afternoon I'm doing a live YouTube video about all my work in progresses. I always think that's a little bit, um, well, well, how do you say that? The scary version of exciting I'm a little bit anxious to do a live YouTube video but I know once it starts it's all good but I'm going to um, show all my uh, work in progress is there and I was planning to do uh, just a recorded video for that but since it's already the 30th of March and we had some weeks of um, flu and sickness over here um, I didn't have a chance to film it, so then my video editor uh, did not have uh, a chance to edit it, of course. So we're just going to go with a live video. It will be fine. Yeah, so back to working on the book. Writing this morning went pretty well. Here is my list of... I will keep the exact names of the chapters out of the screen, but here's my to-do list. And all the chapters, oops, all the chapters are done in the conceptual phase. And the this is a list of the, the chapters that are done. Um, so definitely that I'm finished with, all the measurements are in. Um, 
yeah so four out of the 14 chapters are done um, but all the chapters still need illustrations and well 10 of those chapters are done in concept uh, but they still need rereading and rewriting and adding some measurements so mm, yeah let's call graphic designer and ask ask him what his planning is and uh, how we can do this yay okay uh call mate so uh we discussed that i'm going to hand everything over um monday next week so a little bit more than a week from now so um yeah i think that sounds doable to uh, have everything ready by then so we'll see we'll see let's try that um this weekend though i am at a uh, craft fair in germany Nadelwald. um so that's a few days that i'm not going to work ex extra hours but um, that's okay we also need time to relax in between so uh, i think i'm going to look up or find or track down all my whips because in two hours I have the live video. Yeah. And then if I have everything ready, I can write a little bit more. Everything is ready for the live video. Um, if you want to watch this video, there will be a replay after the live. So check out the description below this video to find the link to that live video. That was a really fun live video. Um, messy table, happy head. Um, yeah, that was lovely. So it's Friday afternoon. We have one kitten left here. Hi kitten. Um, so yeah, I think that's the end of this week. Tomorrow I'm going to Nadelwelt, a craft fair in Germany. Uh, and then Monday I get back, so then I can work again on my book. So that's it for now. I'm going to do what this little guy is doing. Well, big guy. Pretty big, huh? Yeah. Um, I'm going to, uh, to stop working. Enjoy the weekend and I'm going to wish you a very lovely weekend. Make sure to check out uh, the discount on the binding fabric in the shop and make sure to subscribe to my channel that not only gives you updates on when the new video goes live but also lets YouTube know that you like my videos and that uh, YouTube can happily recommend them to other quilters so uh, that would help me immensely and it's free so just click the subscribe button uh, somewhere here in the screen yes thank you so much and uh, I'll see you again next week bye